welcome to this week's video as per viewer request on completing the square. I'm going to show you different examples of how to do this and we're going to use a formulaic approach. So, we have this little formula here and it's based on the idea that if we get an equation in the x squared plus bx plus c format to put it in the completed square, which is this, to get a we do b over 2 and to get little b we do c minus a squared. This will make more sense when I put it in the context of an actual question. So we have this one here and what we need to establish first of all is what are b and c, what are the values for b and c. So b, we do this one here, so b is 6 and c is minus 7. And what it says here is to get little a, we do b, big b, over 2. So as we can see here, big b is 6. So that would be 6 over 2, which is 3. So the value of a is 3. And then to get the value of b, we have to do c minus a squared. So we've already got what c is up here. So c is minus 7. And we take away a squared. So it's 3 squared. So this becomes minus 7 take away 9, which is minus 16. So the value of b is minus 16. And to put it into this format here, so we write y equals x plus a all squared plus b. The a value is 3, so we just write that in here. And the b value is minus 16. And that's our answer. We're going to do some more examples. So this time we have another example. We've got y equals x squared plus 4x plus 13, and we're going to put this in the completed square format. So once again, we just, eval um, we just determine the values of b and c, first of all. So b, as we can see, is 4, and c is 13. So we've got those values there. And to get little a is b over 2, so that's just 4 over 2, which is 2. So that's a. And then to get little b, we do c minus a squared. And we know that c is 13, and a is 2, so it's take away 2 squared. So it's 13, take away 4, which is 9. So this is our b value, and this one was our a value. So in the equation y equals x plus a all squared plus b, so to put it in that format, we just replace the a and the b values. So the a becomes 2 and the b becomes 9. I'm going to do another example. We have another example here. So this time we've got negatives all the way through. And basically what I say here is that a negative carries down. So it doesn't really mean much. It just means that when it goes into the bracket, that will also be a negative. So we need to, as usual, establish what the B and C values are, first of all. So B is negative 10 and C is negative 14. And then to get little a, we know it's big B over 2. So that's negative 10 over 2, which is negative 5. So a is negative 5. And then to get little b, it's c minus a squared. And we know that c is negative 14. And we're taking away negative 5 squared. So when we square a negative, it becomes a positive. So this part becomes 25 
So it's minus 14, and it's minus, but that part of it was a positive 25, and that becomes minus 39. So we've got A and we've got B, and then we can just put it into the Y equals X plus A all squared plus B format. So our A value is negative 5, so that's just the part where it carries down. So negative 5 goes in there, and B is negative 39, so that also just carries down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at examples where this middle number is an odd number. So in this example, obviously the middle number here, the coefficient of x, is an odd number. So we'll just carry on getting the b and c first of all. So b is 3 and c is negative 1. And then to put it in the completed square form, we need to get what little a is. So little a is big B over 2. So that's 3 over 2. So, so far, that's just the same. And then to get little b, we have to do big C minus a squared. So c is minus 1. And we have to do 3 over 2 squared. Now this is where we have to start to think about fractions. So if you want to square a fraction, you just square the top number and square the bottom number. So it's just going to become 9 over 4. And this is where we have to think about adding and subtracting fractions, which I go over in this video, adding and subtracting fractions of a book. So what we need to do here is we need to make this first number over 1, so they're both a fraction. And some people might be familiar with the, the kiss and a smile method when you're adding or subtracting fractions. I'm just going to use the method that I use with the book. So I draw that like so. I multiply this side by 4. So we get negative 4 over 4. Take away and then we do it on the other foot. So it's just 9 over 4. And I end up with minus 13 over 4. And that's my b value. So to put it back in to the y equals x plus a all squared plus b format, I just have to replace the a value with 3 over 2. And b is minus 13 over 4. I'm going to do another example for you. So here we have another example where the coefficient of x is an odd number. So we have to just get the, the b and c values first of all. So b is 7 and c is 15. And to get our little a is big b over 2, which is 7 over 2. And uh, then to get little b, we do c minus a squared. And we know that c is 15, so we do 15 minus, and then a is this value here. So we go 7 over 2 squared. So what we do is we square the fraction, so we just square the top number and then square the bottom number. So we end up, we have the 15 here. And we take away 49 over 4. And what we can do with this one is make it into a, we put it over 1, so that both are in the fraction format. So we have 15 over 1 minus 49 over 4. And we can draw the boot, so we times this side, everything here by 4. So that would be 60 over 4 on this side. And because that had been a 1 previously, this side would just stay the same. So we've got 60 over 4 minus 49 over 4, which is 11 over 4. 
And then if we want to write that, so that's our, our small b value is 11 over 4. And then if we want to write it in the y equals x plus a all squared plus b format, we just replace our a and we just replace our b. So a was 7 over 2 and b is 11 over 4. Let me do one more example for you. So this is our final example. So we have y equals x squared minus 5x minus 6. So we just need to get our b and c values first of all. So b, as we can see, is minus 5 and c is minus 6. So we want to get little a. So a is b over 2 which is minus 5 over 2. So that's fine. And then we want to get little b. So b is c minus a squared. So c is minus 6. So b is minus 6 minus. And then we want to put a squared. So it's minus 5 over 2 squared. And what we said here is that if we have a fraction and we're squaring it, you just square the top number and then you square the bottom number. So that's going to become 25 over 4. So it's going to be minus 6 minus 25 over 4. And what we need to do is we need to put that over 1. And then using the method from the, the book video in fractions, draw on the left hand side here. Some people might use kiss and a smile and that's also okay. So that becomes minus 24 over 4. Four, and then when I put it on the other foot it's minus and it's 25 over 4 and that becomes minus 49 over 4 so that's our, our b value and then if I want to write out the equation so we know what b is so if I want to write out the equation then I can just write y equals x plus a all squared plus b. So a is minus 5 over 2. So we're just carrying that negative down. And b is minus 49 over 4. And that's us. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like, please subscribe and Please suggest any other mass videos you'd like to see in the near future. Thank you.